From signing Christmas cards to taking notes in a meeting, writing is an integral part of life. Unfortunately, tremors, which affect some 10 million Americans, prevent many people from carrying out the important function of writing. Through the Idaho Elks Rehabilitation Center in Boise, Idaho, the Bishop Kelly Engineering Design Team contacted Mr. Bill Clark, a local building developer. Mr. Clark has tremors in his hands that prevent him from writing. His writing difficulties stem from what is known as an intention tremor, a kind of essential tremor. With this type of tremor, the intentional motion of his fingers or wrists cause a relatively violent jerking response. Mr. Clark has experienced limitations and frustration from his inability to perform certain tasks, such as taking business notes, filling out important documents, and even signing his own name. To begin designing a device that would allow Mr. Clark to write legibly, our team researched essential tremors. We also carefully observed Mr. Clark as he attempted to write in order to identify which specific writing motions caused Mr. Clark's wrist to jerk. We learned that, of the more than 20 different kinds of tremor conditions, essential tremor is the most common. It is a progressive neurological disease, and over one half of the cases of essential tremor are caused by DNA mutation. It's estimated that over 4% of people over 40 years old have it, a statistic that grows to 20% for people over the age of 65. After the medical research, our team looked for patents of existing assistive writing devices. Patent 5383737 provided a simple solution which did not use the same fine motor skills as freehand writing. However, with that device, one needed to pivot the wrist in order to write. Also, this design positioned the pen directly beneath the base, which made it difficult to see what was being written. Another helpful patent was patent number 0217507, which featured a wider grip on the pen. Our first prototype was modeled on these two patents, but after testing with Mr. Clark, we found that the device had to be lifted to move the pen from word to word, which triggered Mr. Clark's tremors. Our next design sought to correct this issue by incorporating a pen holder, which could raise and lower the pen without raising the entire device. By constructing a longer platform that supported the hand and the wrist, violent tremors were eliminated. To construct our final version, which we dubbed the POD, Portable Assistive Writing Device, we first cut a 1 8 inch thick aluminum sheet into a 7 1⁄2 by 3 inch plate to create the platform. We then curved this platform into a stable, ergonomic shape and narrowed the front section. After this, we drilled a hole on either side of the aluminum platform and tapped 10 30 second threads into each hole which allowed us to attach the pen holder to the platform with a machine screw. The holes on each side let the user easily place the pen on either side of the device. The pen holder consists of a short, modified piece of aluminum tubing, connected and aligned with an aluminum strip to hold it in place. A hole at the end of the strip allows the pen holder to be fastened to the platform with a 10 30 second machine screw. The other end of the pen holder features an aluminum tab to lower the pen holder to the paper as the user writes. Next, we cut the aluminum platform in half and attached the hinge using short machine screws that were threaded into the platform. We then attached aligning magnets to the underside of the aluminum platform to hold the pod in the folded position. Foam finger grooves and a foam wrist cushion were added to the platform. Finally, the foam support was covered with felt for comfort and smooth adhesive strips were fixed to the bottom, which let the pod glide across paper. Our final version of the pod is fully functional and requires no tools to make adjustments. We wanted to make sure the device was portable so that Mr. Clark could substitute the device for a regular pen. The pod's portability comes from the hinge and magnets placed beneath the platform. These features allow the pod to remain compact when not in use. The pod incorporates several features designed to increase overall safety and comfort. The smooth finish, rounded edges and finger grooves prevent the hand from slipping or being cut. The ergonomic design and additional foam padding eliminates hand strain and adds to the overall comfort of the device. The final product has several factors that make it extremely marketable and unique. First of all, the foldable, lightweight design allows for portability and ease of use. Extremely versatile, the design accommodates both left and right-handed individuals. This device can not only aid those with tremors, but also those with weakened hands or fingers. Also, thanks to the simple design using inexpensive materials, the process of refining and assembling the final pod took about five hours. Material cost was only $11, 
and actual construction time took one hour. Mass production would significantly reduce the building time and cost per unit. In the end, the greatest selling point for this device is its effectiveness. Already, we have been approached by other persons with tremors who have asked to try out the pod. Team Pod believes it has successfully created an assistive riding device that will enable Mr. Clark and others to regain the ability to write. As a team, I've been very persistent in watching and trying and, and working through this issue, and I think that what you have come up with clearly works. It, it, it helps uh, significantly.